Hello, in this video we're going to be doing a problem that is related to Raoult's law and I hope you're excited because uh, I know this guy is... Alright, so the problem. Let's uh, get the important pieces of information. They tell us a vapor mixture is in equilibrium with its liquid phase. So that word equilibrium and then uh, liquid and vapor should be a clue that we'll probably be using uh, Raoult's law and it contains uh, three components, aniline, phenol, and toluene. In the system, the vapor pressure of phenol is 64.58, and that of aniline is 69.42, and we have some, uh, in addition to vapor pressures, we have some partial pressure values, and the system pressure is also provided, and we're told, they give us a clue, you might not see this in every problem you do, they tell us use the Antoine equation and Raoult's law to find the mole fractions of each component in both the liquid and the vapor phases. And we have all these uh, wonderful constants below. Okay, so a good starting point is just to uh, write out the general formula for Raoult's law. That's the partial pressure of A equals the mole fraction of A in the vapor phase times the total pressure equals the mole fraction of A in the liquid phase multiplied by the vapor pressure of A at a specified temperature. Okay, And we are interested in both of the mole fraction values for both the vapor and the liquid phase and we'll solve for both of those with the equation okay so both of these will be used to solve for the mole fractions of both components in both the liquid and the gas phase and we're provided if you looked at the problem statement, we have two of the three partial pressures. We have the system pressure, and then we have two of the three vapor pressures. Okay, and one thing to note that's a uh, pretty loss is you might be thinking, oh wait, they didn't give us a temperature value. But another uh, important thing to keep in mind as we go through this is that the vapor pressure and the temperature can both be related with the uh, Antoine equation. Okay, so a good starting point is the relationship that the total pressure is just going to be the sum of all the partial pressures. This is just the general equation here. We have um, uh, the partial pressure of aniline, the partial pressure of phenol, and the partial pressure of toluene. So if we want to isolate one of these, the value that we don't have we can get that the partial pressure of aniline is just the total pressure minus the other two components. All right. So if we fill in those values, we'll have that the partial pressure of aniline is 167.9, the total pressure minus the two other partial pressures. Okay, so we get that uh, the partial pressure of aniline is 13.92 millimeters of mercury. So they didn't ask for this value, but it will be important in our other calculations. Specifically, the calculation of the mole fractions in the vapor phase. Okay, so we have, it looks like we have now, um, we have all the partial pressures and the total pressure. So we can use this relationship for uh, aniline, phenol, and toluene. And when we plug in the uh, appropriate partial pressures um, divided by the total pressure, we get the following values.
Okay, so we're halfway done with this problem. We did the easier part. We got the uh, mole fractions of all the components in the vapor. Okay, so we are missing one value, one of the uh, vapor pressures, and it's for toluene. And we don't know the temperature. If we did, we could just uh, plug in the temperature and our other constants, and we would get our vapor pressure. But we do know one thing. We know that both of these are related. We've seen in previous videos that we can write the vapor pressure in terms of temperature and um, the temperature in terms of vapor pressure. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, so here we've rewritten the Antoine equation and solved for the temperature in terms of uh, vapor pressure and the vapor pressure in terms of temperature and to solve this problem both of these will be important and we have the vapor pressure values for both uh, aniline and phenyl so we can plug in the appropriate constants whichever one you choose to use we're given the constants for both of these and also the appropriate vapor pressure and regardless of which one you use you'll find that the temperature of our system is 110 degrees Celsius and now the reason this is important is we need this value here to plug into this temperature because for toluene we have the constant values A B and C and now we know that the temperature that we're looking at before the temperature of our system was unknown but now that we know that we can fill in the remaining constants that A is uh, 6.95805 and the value for B is 1346.773 and for T well I mean for C 219.693 and 110 and if you substitute all those values you'll get that the vapor pressure for toluene at 110 degrees Celsius is 746.65 millimeters of mercury okay so now if you look at all of the vapor pressures and all of the partial pressures for uh, aniline, phenyl, and toluene, we have all six of these values. So now we can use the relationship that we wrote before that the mole fraction of a given component is the partial pressure of that component over the vapor pressure of that component at a specified temperature. So if we do that for all uh, three of our components, we'll get the following mole fractions. All right, and there you have it. We've found the mole fractions of all three components in both the liquid and the vapor phase, and you see that this adds up to one, but there is a little discrepancy here, which is all right, because there are a little bit of estimations and approximation errors, but that is close enough. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully I see you in a future video.